Hello everyone, welcome back to our class. This class we will continuously study chapter 9 convection. Section 6 Convection of condensing and boiling. Condensing and boiling are common phenomenon. phenomenon. Condensing and boiling is a strong convection with phase change, during which the temperature of the fluid is no change, keeps constant. However, the coefficient generally is very big. One, condensation. When the saturation vapor contacts with a wall, with low temperature, the condensation will occur. The vapor will condense and at the same time release the latent heat. If the condensation can easily wet the surface, which is film type condensation. Obviously, if the condensation cannot wet the surface, some globules I formed, it is called globule type condensation. For example, many, many, many globules on the surface, like this, like this, like this. Okay, for film type condensation on a vertical plate, vertical plate is very typical, such as Condensation is formed on a vertical plate. At the beginning, it is laminar flow. Certainly, this region is laminar flow. Laminar flow. Flow down towards. The film becomes more thick and flow velocity more fast. Change into turbulent flow. To this region is turbulent flow. From small, fast, 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 fast. In the middle, maybe there is a one region is transition, transitional zone is just the flow, laminar flow become changed into turbulent flow, turbulent flow. Another question is boiling. The more typical boiling is poor boiling, poor boiling. The boiling phenomena a violent, a violent, very big, very strong vaporization process in which large numbers of bubbles form inside a working medium and change from liquid to gas. Many, many gas be produced. Produced. It is a phase change process. From liquid become gas. So phase change. It is a phase change process with larger heat flux. With larger heat flux. Boiling formation condition. During the heating process, the gas core bubble is formed on the interface, gradually glows, breaks away, and rises. Many, many bubble, gas bubble produced and glows and rise and rise. For example, liquid in a cavity with a large heat area in, in the cavity, easy to produce the boiling. Boiling process. In this cavity, the residual gas in the cavity is favorable place for incubation of bubbles. Of bubbles, the growth growth of bubbles very easy. More and more gas bubble be produced. Okay, let's discuss a very typical boiling process. Just is 
poor boiling process. In this case, there are two very special properties. One is the liquid must be overheated. Another one is the liquid must be large, very large. Many many bubbles are produced in the liquid. For example, here is one bubble in the liquid. The bubble radius is r. Certainly, for this one bubble, we can obtain the force balance equation. Just is bubble dynamics relation. We get the surface tension equals pressure difference between inside and outside of the bubble. In the bubble, the gas pressure is P V. The liquid pressure is P L. Is P L certainly P V and P L is different. Is different. So there is some force balance. Force balance. This is two pi R sigma equals P V minus P L times pi R power second. We obtain the P V minus P L equals two sigma over R. Here, the sigma is surface tension. Surface tension, because the liquid is overheated. So, the liquid in the liquid, some place in the liquid, P L certainly is larger or equals P S. Here, P S is the saturation pressure of the liquid of the liquid, because P L larger or equals P S. Certainly, we obtain P V minus P S must larger or equal to sigma over R. O R. On the other hand, we consider the gas is ideal gas, so we can use the gas station equation together. Finally, we obtain a equation or relationship is delta T the temperature difference. Equals T L minus T S, also equals capital T L minus T S, must larger or equals two sigma over R G log V times R. In this equation, sigma certainly is surface tension, R G is gas constant, log V is the density of the gas, R. Here the R is the radius of the bubble, radius of the bubble. So we obtain very special the force, the temperature difference equation. We can do some calculation for the bubble for one bubble. So this equation is very useful, very useful. Okay, poor boiling can be divided into several stages. Several stages, different stage. The bubble is different. The bubble is different. Also, undergoes different process. The heat transfer flow rate is different. So, different boiling stage, the heat transfer flow rate is different. Here is a very typical. The the heat transfer flow rate with the temperature difference change. In the first range is free convection stage. From A to B is isolated bubbles range. From B to C is jets and clumps range, nucleate range. From C to D, this range we can call it transition range. From D to E is a film. Boiling range is different, so this curve is very very special. We can call this point is critical heat flux. This point is E. Most of the case is damaged point, damaged point. So the heat transfer flow rate is different. When the temperature difference different difference is different. Okay, we can give. More detail 
explanation about uh, this this curve. In this A to B, this region we call it isolated bubble area, bubble area, like this. Many many bubble produced, I produced. However, the bubble 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 is still isolated, isolated. So in this region, it's very common. It's very common. Most case, most people observed it, observed it. However, from B to C, this region, because produce more bubbles, so many bubbles together, together become bigger bubbles, bigger bubbles. In this case, steam block area, block area, together, several bubbles together become bigger, bigger bubbles. In this case, to C. C is critical heat flux, very big. The flux Q max maximum is very big, very big. However, from C to D, when the temperature difference increases continuously, the heat flux becomes smaller, becomes smaller. So in this case, we can call it superheated boiling area, boiling area. So the heat flux becomes smaller, becomes smaller. Many, 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 many the bubbles together, together. So form the a layer of bubble gives more the thermal resistance, thermal resistance. So heat transfer flow rate becomes smaller, becomes smaller. Okay, from D to E, this region, because so many bubbles I produced, many, many, many produced. All of the liquid become bubbles, so we can call this region is a firm boiling area. Boiling area. In this case, if the temperature difference increase, so in this case the heat flux increase, 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 increase. Certainly, the most important region is from A to C. A to C. In this region, we can call it. Liquid boiling. boiling. In this region, the boiling heat transfer, we can do some calculation. Boiling heat transfer is also a type of convective heat transfer. It's still convection. So we still can use Newton's cooling law to calculate the heat flow rate. Heat flow rate. So Newton's cooling equation is still applied applied. So Q equals H times Tw minus Ts is still H times temperature difference. Here is flux, heat flux. The Nusset number is still H times L over K over K. Is still CSF is a constant. Our Linux number L M power M plus number power N we use this equation to calculate. Heat transfer processes is the most complex. Certainly the process is most com complex, very complex. Most influential factors, there is some influence on the heat transfer, heat transfer. So nuclear boiling correlation, nuclear boiling correlation we can Obtained Northerner's relationship, obtained proposed uh, equation to calculate the heat flow rate. Q equals mu L HFG G times rho L minus rho V over sigma. Sigma is surface tension. Power 1 over 2 times these terms. This term Cp L is specific capacity. Cp for liquid, L is liquid, times Te, T is temperature difference. CSF is a constant. HFG is the latent heat, latent heat. Plant number, plant number. Delta Te is Tl minus Ts. Other coefficients can be check, checked from the tables. Different tables may, may, maybe give different number. 
certainly we can check them obtain some coefficient coefficient it can be found q is proportional delta t power third or third therefore also above equations sometimes dy8 q from the experimental value maybe is larger than 100 percent but if we understand we know the q upside to check delta t maybe the dy8 only 30 percent so we just we can use this equation to do some simulation 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 obtain q or obtain delta t delta t okay thank you very much Thank you.